this is the uh, April uh, 6th meeting of the Northampton License Commission. Uh, Commissioner Campidelli is absent today. Uh, we are audio and video recording the meeting. Uh, if there's any public comment on any other item uh, you, don't, you don't expect to address later, uh, hearing none, um, I'm going to move past the first uh, couple of items here uh, regarding Smith College. Um, I was just informed those people will be showing up a little later. So I'll move right to item number seven, application for farm winery license to sell at Florence Farmers Market. And at item number eight, application for uh, license to sell at Northampton Farmers Market. Florence and Northampton. And this is the Goddard Red Heart Farm um, Got a Red Heart Red Head Farm LLC for business as Mineral Hills Winery. Hi. Hi. Just identify yourself for the record, please. I'm Susan Goddard, uh, sole manager of the Goddard Red Head Farm LLC. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing. You sold at both places last we year. You sold at both last year, yes. Okay. And uh, has anything changed in your business or anything? You have your MDRIC? Everything, everything is the same as last year. All the paperwork has been sent in, I believe, it's been all received. Okay. All right. Well, uh, oh, okay. I note for the record that the building commissioner sent you a record, uh, sent a letter um, supporting your application here. I'm sure that will make all the difference. He also fixed you were on the edge. <laughs> Um, do you have Humor any is, is a double-edged sword. So I'm just glad to see you back. I hope you had a good season and have an even better one. We had a real good season last year. Hopefully this weather won't hurt us. Um, I feel for you. My daffodils feel for you, too. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion to um, accept their applications for a farm winery license. So Florence Farmers Market and also an application for a license to sell. Farmers market. I'll second both motions. In favor, say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. And the license is right here, actually. Okay, uh, item number nine. Application for a charity wine pouring license, Friends of Forbes Library. Uh, let me just note um, this is the Friends of Forbes Library that's making an application here. It is a separate 501c3 from the uh, trustees of Forbes Library, Forbes Library itself. Um, so I am, uh, I am a saying that there's no reason why Commissioner Real cannot um, uh, vote on this matter. So just for the record. Yes. Do you uh, have any objections? As a trustee of Forbes Library, I, I recuse myself <laughs> from anything directly dealing with, with the friends. Yeah. But no, no, not with the friends. The friends, right. you're a separate independent organization. Right, right. So I can vote on that. Okay. But I just, so, we want to make it clear for the record why okay. I'm doing that. I'm ruling from the chair that this is acceptable. Uh, so, anyway, hi. Um, so, tell us what's, what you're doing. Uh, September 30th, uh, we're having a wine tasting benefit for the library. The Friends of Forbes Library are holding it, hosting it. Um, and we're going to be serving wine, various kinds. Uh, it'll be about a two hour benefit. We hope to attract as many people as we can. In the past, we've had some success with this and raised a lot of money for the library itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, who's providing the? Uh, Liquor 44. Okay. Yes, here. Um, your Secretary of State, AG, uh, IRS, insurance forms are all here so that. Uh, we also have a form 43 we would need to have approved. So, um, okay. 
And who will be serving? Who will be serving? Our distributors that are hired by Liquor Sporty Four. Okay. Um, okay, I will make a motion then that we approve the charity one point license for Friends of Forms Library on September 30th and authorize the Form 43 to be uh, sent to the ABCC. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Stay there. Application of short term YM Alt license. Friends of Forbes Library. Donors to our May 5th, 2016, 7 to 9. Just tell us what that event is about. <laughs> he knows more than you do. He's the one who's, who's uh, head of that one. Yeah. Peter, aren't you, you supposed to be talk? speaking? Uh, I am. I went to the wrong meeting. Oh. I went to the tree meeting. Uh, so Peter is the one who's going to be running that. Uh, okay. Well, let's get the whole up here. Okay. Peter. Please. Thank you. So, uh, do I have to get the license here or for the uh, wine board? I, I will get it to you. Okay. Um, I have a copy. I don't know. That's just our copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then will you send it to the library or to Selena? Who would you like me to send it to? Selena Smith. I think you don't. Yeah, I have her email, so I will check with her. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Mr. Cole. I I didn't know you were going to be here. No. I'm sure you could have handled it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. tell us. That's okay. Uh, no, you're right on time. Okay. okay. Um, so tell us uh, what the uh, event that you're doing on May 5th is. Okay. The uh, Friends of Forbes Library are uh, having a, a special evening for some of our donors. And uh, it's been quite nice. It's a behind the scenes tour of Forbes Library. It's going to be conducted by the library director and discussion of uh, the history of the library and its collection and history of Northampton as well. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Then, um, let me see. Okay. Is Liquor 44 here. furnishing the, yes. the wine? Yeah. Okay. And they're using their uh, distributors to serve? So right. Yankee Spirits. Yes. Okay. okay. I have no further questions. To me. No. Okay. I make a motion also to uh, uh, approve the application for short term wine and malt license for Friends of Forbes Library for May 5th, 7 to 9 p.m. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, do you I need to you? take anything away with me? Uh, well, yes, I have a license here, but we send you a check, I think. Or no, we don't need a check. Do we have a fee waiver? Do we? Do you have a $61 check for it, or do you usually request? Okay. Um, I'll assume you're requesting a fee, since this is Forbes Library, I'll assume you're stuck. Normally, a fee waiver is requested. I would just ask that you just from podium just request orally a fee waiver I, we can process I it. definitely request a fee waiver I'm just going to request it oh That's you right. go oh, sorry sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah yes um, so the uh, the check is not needed uh, I make a motion that we approve a fee waiver for the application for short-term wire law license for the library I'll second that in favor hi all right thank you okay. thank you all right, um, I see that um, folks from Smith are here, so let me move back to item number five. Application for change manager, Smith College campus center special uh, license. Um, hi. Hi. Thank you. Sorry, anybody. So you're Patricia yeah, Hens here at the Cox. Uh, tell us, um, you're making a change of manager at your for your special license for the campus. Um, have you been 
Just tell, tell us a little bit about your background in Chicago. Sure. Uh, I was hired last June as director of dining services. Prior to that, I worked for Sodexo, a food service company, as the executive chef uh, at the Harvard County School of Government and the general manager at the uh, Hotchkiss School in Lakeville, Connecticut. Um, I have been in food service for 12 years now. And uh, at those other places, uh, there was service of alcohol. You have a, a license uh, uh, with the ones in Massachusetts that you mentioned. Uh, so the Harvard Kennedy School, yes, the yeah, so no license. license. Uh, the Hotchkiss School, the school have the license. Okay. So uh, you oversaw the service of alcohol at those places too? Yeah. And um, um, have um, has anything changed uh, at Smith lately as far as the uh, the uh, just the, the places you serve alcohol, the frequency, or anything else in your because we had a long discussion about this some years ago mm -hmm. about where Smith was serving because there was some question raised on the special license. This was some years ago. There's been no change though. Uh, in, no, there's been no change. Yeah, no, we five still, or six years. Yeah, we have certified bartenders training. We just all took classes. We keep up with it. We have a very large pool of certified bartenders. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We got some inquiry many years ago from the ABCC about this special license and another one that uh, was there. There was the conference center because there was a Smith Club too, but that's a separate license. Now. I mean, it's through the college, but it's not through the Really? I'm not sure. Maybe that would no, I think that. This is the special license that doesn't right. need to be approved by the ABCC. We just let them know that we did it. This is just informed. This is the one. Yep. Okay. 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 Then they, they were inquiring about the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Before it's, my time, too. Yes, it's a long time ago. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. Right there. Right there. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions? I do not. I do not wish Mr. Cox good luck. I'll make a motion to approve the special license and the transfer and change of manager from Patricia Hentz to Andrew Cox. And in addition to authorize uh, Form 43 to be submitted. Okay. Right. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. Thanks. Uh, stay there. Okay. <laughs> Item number six, application for short-term license for trustees for the college. Dining services for your usual uh, clutch of um, commencement events. Uh, I will list them all there on the agenda. Um, the, um, the events are. Uh, I'm sorry. Patty, are these all all alcohol licenses that you're yes, asking they're, they're for? Full. None of them are just wine and malt, right? I believe I saw they were all mm -hmm. alcohol. Um, okay. I believe you put full full because they're ca they're cash bars. Mm -hmm. That's the alumni I requested. Okay. Okay. Um, And uh, the uh, the people who will be serving at these events, who will they be? From the pool of um, certified bartenders. So we, we schedule them in, so every location will have certified bartenders. And also this year, uh, the man I think, actually, yeah, all the managers are certified and current, so they'll be at different locations overseeing the bartenders. So we have certified managers, certified bartenders, 
Um, and they're brief. They're usually so, uh, social, so 5.30, 6.30, and then they go for dinner before wine with dinner, and then it's done. Hmm. So it's pretty much that that's all our service that we provide. And the servers will be uh, employees of dining services? Yes, although sometimes we do get um, employees from the um, CE staffing, but we do require that either we put someone with a, a bartender and that certified and the manager, but they also have certified bartenders that we use through CE staffing. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and and um, Patty, will you still be the contact person? I see on these applications. Yeah, that was before the change in management, so, um, but. Andy could be the contact now, right? Because he's the manager, or do you want I, to I, contact? Well, I, I was just looking here, and I yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Well, we weren't sure the process of operation. <laughs> I have both of If them. I got approved, and then as long as, 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 as long as we know who we should be getting yes. in contact, that's all. Yeah, and, yeah. And I think Cindy was indicating she's she's well aware of all the folks who are playing a role. Okay. Um, please do. Uh, I'll move that we approve uh, the issuance of a full liquor license for all of these alumni day events. Okay, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. Thank so you. The, uh, I can give you the Oh, you have them? Okay, good. Do you need we need to take a copy of it, not for these, but for to be able to send this in. Okay. So they might be able to give you a copy of that. Okay. Hey, uh, item number 11, application short-term wine and vault licenses, Academy of Music. Uh, two events, May 1st, May 27th, Allison, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, tell us. Um, so more. we have a copy show Chignataro and Indigo Girls coming at different ends of the month in May. Um, and this is just for general to our typical um, concession beer and wine service before okay. and during the show. Okay, and you're still using Mark Med and Virtual Brewing. Uh, request a fee waiver. Yeah. Any questions for some of these events? Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the application for short term wine wall license Academy Music. For May 1st and May 27th, a fee waiver for both events. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Would you rather not wait? It's up to you. It would take me a few minutes to stand them up. So. No, I can wait. I just didn't know if I was interrupting the procedure. No, our, our, uh, our judges. Oh, okay. You don't have to sit through. All right, no problem. Anyway. Item number 12, application for short-term wine and malt license, 1176 Brewing Company, DBA Portland Brewery. You want to do this at the uh, Lander Grinspoon Academy at Prospect Street in Hampton, uh, June 5th, 2016. Hi, identify yourself for the record, please. I'm Kristen Delancey, I work at Brewery. And I'm there is a typo, it's 1776. Duly noted. Uh, okay, so tell us what this event is. So it is the spring fundraising event for the Lander Green Spoon Academy in town. Um, they're going to have sort of a carnival thing going on, so there's lots of different booths, um, games, and then it's open to anyone from the public, and we'll be there um, pouring the beer and any proceeds or any profit that we make will be donated to the Green Spoon Academy. Okay, and you are the uh, distributor here. You are the distributor. And you are doing this under uh, yeah. the group of, call it, call it that, the group of the relations. <laughs> okay, that's that's in order. Uh, and you have um, uh, servers who are um, uh, trained to do this. And I see you have your insurance uh, document here. So, um, can I get your name again? I'm sorry. No problem. Kristen Delancey. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and, uh, the 
Greenspoon Academy, is that, a, is that an elementary school or high it's school? It's like a Jewish um, school, uh, not a public school. I'm not sure what the grade range is. It's not, it's not a high school. I don't think so. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the application for short-term wine and malt license for this spring fundraising carnival. Okay, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, excellent. Uh, she needs to check. check. I don't have a check yet. I have it. You do. Okay, good. Item number 13, application for short-term wine and malt license, not a community school. Hi. So identify yourself for the record, please. I'm Alice Richelewitz. I'm a volunteer for Nantucket Community Sorry, School. Sorry, Alice? Alice Richelewitz. Okay. So tell us uh, what this event is. Um, well, I guess it's fundraising season, so we're having a fundraiser for our school. It's uh -huh. going to be held at Crimson and Clover Farm. Um, and we're going to have beer, wine, and like refreshments um, in a silent auction to benefit the school. Okay. Um, okay, you're a uh, uh, distributor for the purchase of alcohol. So we are getting alcohol donated from various places, and I have, I just got today the bartender for the event. Um, who's a parent for the school. He has his TIF certification. Um, and he just, it expired, I guess, three days ago, and he's just gotten recertified. So I don't have the number today, but I can just get it. provide that to uh, see that. Right. Um, that's right. I was about to say that, but if we do this through this, this instrument, uh, is that also, can we do it in there? Licensed distributor because State Street itself is not. We can't use them as a distributor. We have to use their distributor, their own standard, correct? Mm -hmm. so we, we need to ask for the short term license. They would. They would. Um, but the. Um, I think the ABCC only allows for um, wine to be donated and then you have to ask for a special charity wine license oh, okay. otherwise you have to go through certain distributors um so not beer it can't be donated so we have to purchase the beer through their specific through their distributor. distributors yeah, so, so maybe their distributor would give it to us at a discount we could purchase it for <laughs> yeah, we don't okay. know anything about okay. such things so um okay. state street wine and spirits Wine, wine and Liquors has a, um, a distributor. Okay. okay. If, um, what's, the, what's the most elegant way to do this? What about Yankee Spirits? Bruce McAmos's. Um, is that he just, he just well, does not, wine? We were not, we can't direct those. No, 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 I'm just Unless, if, unless if, yeah, we're going to tell them that we do. No. So what, what was your what was your understanding of State Street about this? Um, they were going to give us a case or two of wine at a discount. So um, and they're going to donate the food. So I don't right. even know. They're going to donate the food. Yeah, okay. and then maybe if they donate the food and the whole and your wholesaler provides the alcohol. Yeah, there there's a wholesaler that they have there that um, that would go people work through them. Okay. But if um, what do we need to get to you to make it the name of their distributor and it has to be on the approved list? Okay. Um, so do you want to look for them because I don't know if that's not just now. <laughs> okay. I think I gave you all of them. Oh, okay. I think so seven, right? But I can I can always get them to you within moments of a new
our short term one mall license for non donated uh, alcohol through a uh, distributor of the approved list, uh, assuming you can get back to us with the information from State Street. Yeah. Is that all right then, on their distributor? Can we approve this for non tucking schools post State Street? As long as what we know is that the liquor, the alcohol is brought to that event specifically for that event, not from someplace. Right. It can't come off. It can't come out of State Street's shelf. retail stock. Uh, so that's the thing that okay. every state, Massachusetts, no exception, has peculiar things about the service of alcohol and where alcohol can come from and what can happen to it after it's gone from point A to point B, where it can be stored and all that. Okay. So a distributor needs to bring to your event um, the non-donated beer you know, and, uh, and wine, and wine to, this, to this event, and uh, then they take it back when oh, it's okay. left over. State Street can't pull a case off their shelf to bring it to the thing. Okay. Uh, they should know this, actually. Uh -huh. So if you can um, go to State Street and register to their distributor yeah. to do this, okay. give the information to Sydney. Just the name. Yeah, you can call me tomorrow. I can explain yeah. And I'm willing to uh, approve this condition under, under those. If, let me, let, me turn this over. let me turn this over to you. What are your thoughts? Is this I, I was okay going to propose we provisionally approve it, um, conditioned on uh, the applicant uh, approaching State Street and uh, getting the distributor involved as per ABCC regulations. And and I certainly will. Uh, that sounds like a motion. Oh, um, I'll so mean? move. Okay. Thanks. All right. So uh, I'll second that. All right, any further discussion or further instructions? What's the um, fee waiver, may I ask, the application to waive the fee? Is that just because the library is like a city? A city. Okay. So is the Academy. Okay. The, the, the city owns the library and the city okay. owns the Academy. Fortunately, the city doesn't own your school. So <laughs> yeah. uh, they have to pay the 61 bucks. Okay. Um, so um, if you will do that, should be okay. So we have a motion to approve this on those on, the, on those contingencies. Uh, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. So, so your event's on May 7th. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. As soon as I saw this, it's, it's, there's two things. I'm sorry. This, we can't do. It. Yeah. No. 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 It's, it's fine. Um, uh, item number fourteen. Uh, Sakura and Vegan Palette. Are they here every single month, or does it just seem like that? I told them that I would speak on their behalf because they couldn't take any more time off of work. I can explain what happened. Okay. Um, when they originally called for this, they, their business is staying exactly the same. They hadn't caught up with the ABCC with their change of... I remember that from last month. Stockholders in the past. So it was a change of stockholders, but in addition to that, nothing is changing with the business. It's the same family, and they're changing their corporate name. And I called the ABCC, they advised me on how to fill it out, but then a different investigator got it and said that there's no such thing as change of corporate name, even though it's one of the choices, so you can't use that. So he made, they made them, we have another ad in the paper, and we had to hear it again, so that we're just asking you to approve the same exact thing we asked before, except written as changes. Um, 
transfer of license or a change of permit name. Right, so this is a continuation from last meeting. We were here. They um, had some problems. These are. Um, wait a minute. Michael Weiss was in. Was he in on this or was he no, in on Zen? No, he was in on Zen. That's right. Okay. And I'm trying to find the form for Okay, this. Did the Zen thing go through? Because they? Um, they had a. No, because the ABCC has. Can we get this? Well, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I want to digress. Okay, so we have a Form 43 here to approve the um, transfer of license uh, from. Um, How Chen Incorporated to Jacob and Tina Chen, EVA Sakura and Vegan Palette. So um, the, um, the ABCC is directing us to do it on as this a basis transfer. as a transfer. Then I'll make a motion that we that we approve such transfer and uh, also approve the form 43. Second, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, the approval of minutes, I can't really vote on that. I wasn't here, so. Okay, let's hold it over. Yeah. All right. Um, new business. Well, since I started thinking about Zen, um, they had, um, if I recall correctly, they had also not had um, their, their corporate director listed before. Yes. They needed to submit their list of directors. Right. Yes. And they have a rule that 50% of the directors with a title in the board, like secretary or treasurer, which two of them were written that way, have to provide personal information forms and they hadn't provided them. Yep. So they sent it back as no, um, that they weren't gonna do anything, no recommendation. And I had Michelle come in today and she sat with me and we, we redid it. And there was also another problem with that, that somewhere along the way there was years ago a typographical error that was approved by them as being, um, MNY Association LLC when it was really incorporated. So there were some papers that said incorporated and some that said LLC, but it had been approved that way. So I went with the way that it had been approved and I did it exactly, but because it was a typo, they sent it back, even though it had been approved before. So we had to redo it to make it right okay. before they can sell it. Fine. So they're all. You're okay. So I well, I haven't gotten their paperwork back yet, but I sat with Michelle today and we worked it through. We have all the paperwork ready for when the ABCC gets it to me. So uh, since I wasn't here at the last meeting, uh, the licenses for sale or the restaurant, what's the story? Uh, they, they sold. They sold the restaurant. They sold, yeah. Well, we haven't put through that change yeah, yet. Yeah, but they're selling it to some other guy who's going to call it. From Amherst. Fasion or something. Fasion. Something he's going to give it a, a zippy name. And, uh, well, I hope he doesn't change the rules. Good. Who knows? You have, you have no standing in this matter. <laughs> I just ate there for lunch today. No. Um, <laughs> anyway, no, that family that's owned, that's owned it sold out. I'm just going to get it out. And so the guy, he owns something else, right? Something he in Amherst. Something in Amherst, yeah. All right. Um, it doesn't matter, it's not on our agenda right now. Anyway, so any other new business? Yes, I spoke with um, the people from Arts Night Out. They're planning to come in May. They know there was questions last time, so I have the list of people who are likely to ask for, and I have for um, the licenses. It's pretty much the same as last year. There may be a couple additions because there's a couple new people, and there are people who have rescinded and not decided to apply this year, but they're really hoping to be here for May. 
I just said that I would bring it up that they're working on it right now. Okay. All right. The issue that we were concerned with was that businesses really were not um, promoting the arts, but they were using this to come under the umbrella of a special aggregate license for this to be able to serve alcohol in their place of business, which would constitute prima facie evidence of a sale acquiring them to get a special license. But since they came under this license, it seemed rather irregular. We asked for an explanation of that. I was at the meeting where um, uh, Penny came and talked about it. So and it Penny, Penny does assure me that they, they will have art people, they will have artists. Okay. If there's two or three dentists, I'm just, uh, well, I, I made my, my view known. Well, we also had a real estate uh, place, yeah. too, and all that. And again, if, to be fair, uh, you know, all those businesses we made stop serving wine to the customers years ago. My wife still gives me a hard time. Here it is. Can I give her a glass of wine? But this is a, uh, you know, this is a matter of fairness. That we no, no, I absolutely, absolutely. Right. So, um, so Penny will begin on uh, May 4th? She's hoping to be on May 4th. Okay. All right. Anything else you want us to think about that beforehand? Okay. Any other new business? Uh, Aye. Okay. Aye. 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 Aye.